Hello and welcome to Word on Wednesday. My name's Rachel Rose and I'm the lay chaplain at St John Horton and the St Thomas. What's your favourite day of the week? My favourite day of the week is Wednesday and that's because when my children were younger we used to use Wednesday as our catch-up day. Maybe Wednesday is the day that you have a family meal together or you go and you see your mum or your dad or your grandparents Maybe it's your football training day or your swimming night. For my family, we always went to the local library on Wednesday to either read there for an hour or to swap our library books. And then we went home for a meal together. Now my children have grown up and they live in their own homes, but I still go to the library on Wednesdays. At the moment I can't because the libraries are closed, but I can still read and the book I'm reading at the moment is The Shed That Fed A Million Children and it's by Magnus and it celebrates and tells us how the charity Mary's Meals was born. It's an amazing meal, read and Magnus went through Catholic education and he lives in the Highlands, Scotland. Please do get a copy, please read it and please live it. It's amazing what you find out when you just spend a few minutes having a little read. And it costs just £15.90 to feed a child for a year through Mary's Meals. It's amazing what you learn when you do read. And although I can't see my children at the moment, I'm talking to them on the phone regularly. We're keeping in touch. And sometimes it's just a quick text, but on a Wednesday, that's the night that I settle down and we do enjoy a telephone conversation and I can listen to them and see how they're getting on in these days where we're self-isolating. Even though I can't be with you just now, it's a wonderful opportunity to share this time with you, even though it does feel like a one-way conversation. But these days will pass and we do have to keep safe. Word on Wednesday is about having the opportunity to listen to the Word of God. And the scripture reading I've chosen today is a short scripture reading, but it's very powerful and it's a very important message, which is taken from Matthew 19. Because we're going to read the Word of God, let us just take a moment to settle ourselves, to push to the back of the minds the list of jobs that we've got to do, our moans and our groans, so that we can just take a moment to listen to what God is telling us. Jesus welcomes children. Some people brought children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and to pray for them. But the disciples scolded the people. Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not stop them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. He's placed his hands on them, and then he went away. Jesus wants you to come to him too. Just close your eyes for a moment and imagine Jesus sitting there just before you. He lifts you up, sets you on his lap and folds his arms around you. You can feel his heart beating. Tell Jesus whatever you like. He loves to hear you talk to him and he listens to everything that you tell him. Then listen to what he says to you in your heart. There's a saying, children are our greatest treasure and Jesus would agree with this. He loves children. So in this Bible passage from Matthew, when parents brought their children to Jesus, he welcomed them. But Jesus' disciples thought that Jesus shouldn't be bothered with children. They knew he was tired of teaching. When the disciples ordered the people to take the children away, Jesus stopped them. Jesus blessed the children and made them an example for everyone. He said that people who are like children will enter heaven. Then Jesus prayed over the children as their parents wanted. To Jesus, every person is important, even the smallest, youngest one. I like the saying, children are our greatest treasure. I wonder, what would your greatest treasures be? I thought mine might be this football shirt that's signed. But there again, I didn't play and train for that football match, so maybe that shouldn't be my greatest treasure. It could be 
this rock that was given to me, and that was after a huge adventure. But again, it wasn't my adventure, so maybe that's not my greatest treasure. I did train and run in lots of marathons, so maybe my medals should be mine. And I thank God for my health and I gave the glory back to God. So that could be a treasure. But no, really, deep down in my heart, and I'm very proud that my greatest treasure is my relationship with God and my friends and my family. So I will keep in contact with my friends and my family. I will make time to speak to them, to listen to them, to share my day. And I'm also going to be making time to spend time with God. And I'd like to invite you just to spend three minutes today to chat to God, to tell him how you are, share your worries, and ask him to be with you and to stay with you. We know that Jesus welcomes little children. He welcomes you and he welcomes me. We are his treasure and nothing is going to stop us from going to Jesus and asking him to bless us and he will welcome us just as we are. Let's take a moment in silence to enjoy knowing Jesus welcomes us. And let's end by saying the glory be together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. 